Hello and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial series by ProfileTree. In today's episode we're going to talk through how to make good use of split screens and a few different ways that you can actually accomplish this. Um, so I'm going to try and keep it as simple as I can so that you can follow along. So go ahead and drag two or three clips into your sequence that you want to create the split screen with and simply drag one of the clips above the other like so. Um, so the first way I'm going to talk you through is just by moving the second clip about over the first clip. So say I'm going to move this to the top right hand side. And position it there. And then I'm also going to drag the third clip on as well. And position it. at the bottom right as well for example and then we're going to move our original source clip over so that we can see the part of the image that we want to be shown and now what we're going to do to touch it up is go to our effects panel And what we're going to search for is the edge feather effect. We're going to drag this on to our clip. In fact, drag it on to all of our clips. And let's begin with this one. And I think I'm going to drag that to about 50 or so. Just so we have a nice smooth um, transitional panel between each clip. So go to our next one and find our edge feather effect. Again just drag it up to around 52 and finally our other clip select and go for 52. Yeah. And then we're going to make this one a little bigger you don't want that dark shading. It would look nice and smooth. And that is a simple way to create a split screen. A simple and effective way to create a split screen within Premiere Pro. Um, so we're going to go back to the start and I'm going to talk you through the next way to do it. So, back to the start. Again, we're going to drag this onto this clip and this time we're just going to go with two and again we're going to go to our effects panel and search for the crop effect and drag this on to our top clip and our bottom clip and we're going to go And we're going to go to our top clip and go across from the right, let's say 50%. And we can drag this into the middle. this time so again just play about with it um, and see what looks good you could also drag on the edge feather effect again to smoothen the, the panels in between um, probably what would be, would have been more effective with a third clip um, but that is another way to accomplish the split screen 
browser. So we're going to undo all that and get back to our three clips. And this time we're going to go to graphics up at the top of the screen and go to your safe graphics. So this is what's called a multi-screen. And you can see here the amount of different ones that you can have. So there's five there, four in this one. We'll drag this one in. Again, these must be downloaded from a website. So again, these will not come with your Premiere Pro um, program. You'll need to go on and download these from a stock footage website but they are definitely recommended to use as they are very handy. Um, so we're going to actually delete these, I'm not going to use it that way. Um, and what we're going to do is click on our essential graphics, edit footage. Let's just drag three random clips in. So there's our first one. Let's go to our second one. Replace from Explorer. Let's choose something a bit different. And then go to our third, right click, replace from Explorer. And there we have it. So here is where we can play about with the position of the clip. So if we want to centralize it, um, again, Okay, so that one's been taken. I'm actually going to replace this one with something else. And there is our final way of creating a split screen within Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, I will leave a link in the description as to where you can download these clips um, for the essential graphics. Um, but it is definitely recommended, if you're, especially if you're working with more than um, three or four uh, images. So there is three ways that you can create a split screen within Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, any questions please leave them in the comments section below and i will look forward to seeing you again soon i hope this has helped thank you very much and goodbye